In this video, we're going to take a look at the eight solutions you can try to fix Windows cannot detect the iPhone 13 series. So the first thing to do is make sure that your iPhone is um, locked into, it's not locked, so you make sure that you lock into your home screen. So make sure it is unlocked and that you are locked into your home screen. After that, try to replug the cables, see if your computer can detect your iPhone. Okay, so the next thing is make sure that your computer has the latest uh, software update. So you can uh, click on the Windows button and make sure that it uh, has the latest update. Also make sure that iTunes also have the latest uh, update. So you can open up iTunes on your Windows computer. Now you want to go in here and check for the iTunes version. So you can click on help and then iTunes about iTunes and here it will give you the version that you can check it against the app website to make sure that you have the latest iTunes installed on your computer. Also in Windows Update, make sure that you have all the latest uh, software updates uh, available for you to download and then download it and install it on your uh, computer. Okay, next, when you first plug in your iPhone to the computer, on your iPhone, it will say, do you want to trust this computer? So you want to tap on the trust button so that you grant the, uh, you grant the computer permission to access uh, information on your iPhone. So make sure that you tap on the trust button. If you have accidentally canceled, uh, tap on the cancel button, you can uh, unplug the cable and then plug back in the lightning cables so that you can uh, grant the trust permission to the computer. Okay, next is that if you have a lot of uh, USB accessory connected to your computer, uh, you might want to unplug some of them. So just remove some of the USB accessories and then also try to take out your USB cable and then try a different plug because some plug like this one here is faulty. It doesn't work. You want to try on a different plug. So try all the different plug at the front and at the back of your computer. Um, eventually one of them will work. So some of them might be faulty. That's why you want to make sure you unplug all of the USB accessory that you're not using. And uh, one by one, try all the different USB port. And hopefully that can fix your issue. Now last time when I plug in my Samsung Galaxy S10, together with the iPhone then for some reason the computer uh, does not detect my iPhone and when I unplug the Samsung Galaxy phone it started to recognize the iPhone and then after that I can start to transfer the, the, the photos. Okay another thing that you can do is try to restart your computer so you can click on the Windows button and then click on restart and this will allow you to restart the computer. Okay another um, um, another solution is to restart your iPhone. Now you can see here now my device showing that allows this asset to access photos and videos. If you want to grant permission for the computer to access photos and videos, make sure you choose allow. Okay, another thing is to restart your iPhone so you can press on the side button and the volume down uh, key, press and hold, and then uh, swipe off like this, and then uh, press on the side button to uh, turn the phone on and that will restart your iPhone. Okay, so solution number seven is to make sure that you update the drivers for your iPhone on the Windows computer. So right click on the Windows button and click on device manager. In here, you want to open up portable devices and then click on iPhone. So in here on the Apple iPhones, right click and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. And here it said the best drivers for your device are already installed. Sometimes if you do not have the right driver, Windows will attempt to download and install the latest driver for your iPhone. Okay, and lastly, solution number eight is you could try to connect your iPhone to another computer, see if you still have the same issues. Maybe there could be some issues with your current computer, like the software issues that causing your iPhone connect cannot be detected on this computer. So you might want to 
uh, plug this iPhone into another computer if you have another computer around and see if um, you will face the same problem or not. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.